Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to use the STM32 Cube IDE to blink this LED. There's a LED here and uh, I show you there's a power supply and uh, you plug it in here. This one is blink blinking slowly. We program to make it faster. The board I'm using here is this one. This is the chip. It's very simple, small one. The part number is here. We can use this part number to buy the items. When you go to AliExpress website and type the part number here, this one, and when you enter, and we get the chips. Only the chip is about $1 US dollar. When you go below, there, these are the items about two dollars three dollars the one i bought is here from this supplier and they have good rating also and they're selling currently for about two dollars plus one dollar 39 cents chip shipping for the data sheet this is the st website i provided in the web uh, description below uh, the data sheet you can download from here so that's here this is the data sheet this is the chip i am using here that has 16 kilobyte flash memory and uh, sram 4 kilobyte and uh, one spi only one i2c one uart so you can read through now we do the connection one thing about this board is it's not breadboard friendly. There is no pin left this side or this side. But when we use another breadboard like these two of them and give a small gap here and it, fit, it fits perfectly like this. Then we will have a lot of room here and here, here everywhere for our use. To program with the STM32 Cube IDE, we need a ST link like this. I show it closer. I'm using version 2 and there are four wires connected to it and we need to connect those four wires to this side here like this. And I show it closer connected to bottom four pin and the labels are here SWDIO, ground, SW clock and 3.3 volt. Make sure connect to 3.3 volt and that one connect come to 3.3 volt, DIO, clock and ground. And uh, we plug this one to the computer and we can start the cube IDE. I have already installed a cube IDE that is here. If you don't have cube IDE installed, I have a separate video for a different microcontroller how to install cube IDE that is here. If you see from the time from here to here and you know how to install it. Now I'm going to go there and I'm going to create a new project. New STM32 project. In this part number selection you type F030 F4. So when you make it bigger here, F4 PX. So that's the one. You select this one and click next. You can give a name. I give name blink and finish. When you, when you create a new project for the first time, it will take a long time and then for the next time, it will be faster. I, I just fast forward the video. So what we're going to do is click system core, click this and for the debug, serial wire, we tick. Now this is the chip. Now we can make it here by zooming. So the pin PA4, that's the one connected to LED. 
Now we click this one and make it as a GPIO output. That's all the setting. We can click save and it will auto generate the code. It will create main.c file, this one. So this is the main.c file. There are a lot of comments and some codes and you can ignore for a while because when you go there below this is the loop main loop we're going to put the code if there's any setup we put it here that's all we need to do there are more codes below here there are some other clock setting and things like that we can ignore for a while and we do in the while one loop it's an infinite loop so we enter here and we use h a l g p i o underscore h a l underscore g p i o underscore capital t simple o and we hold, press and hold the control key and type press the space bar and we get this one and GPIO X is here, so that is A. So A4 is the one we're going to toggle. So the A is here. Pin, we delete it capital I N underscore 4. So this is will toggle the pin. And we need to give a delay that is H A L underscore capital D simple E and press and hold the control key and space bar and hull delay this one and time in millisecond that is 100 and uh, semicolon that's all the code we can click save for the all the HAL commands we can type stm32 f0 HAL in your browser it will give you all the command from the ST link uh, documentation you can get all the code for this program we need only these two command toggle pin and the delay now we press the green button and when you get this screen click the debugger and for the debug probe this one select stlink open ocd and then click this show generator option button and go below and for the reset mode select software system reset Click apply, click OK. It will upload the code to your microcontroller. If you get message like this, shut down command invoke, that means all good, this code is uploaded. I have uploaded the code. Now we can remove this one. And then we give the power supply like before. Now, as we can see, it is blinking very fast. So it works. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.